Hello, my name is Sarah Cornish, and I'm going to be previewing the Sublime Action Collection that is just released into the shop. Um, it's one of my three newest collections. Um, I'm gradually going to be introducing videos for every single action set, but I wanted to kind of run you quickly through and show you a little bit of what this action collection does, as well as a couple of wonderful ways to customize the actions and get the most bang for your buck and show you how to really use them and maximize their potential. So, I picked one particular image. Um, the actions were not created on this image in any way. I just wanted to show you, you know, how versatile the actions are and how if you do run an action and it doesn't work perfectly for an image, how you can very quickly change that to make it work perfectly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just choose one particular action called Basque. And when I run this, now we have this beautiful, warm, kind of sunny feel to our image. Now, those that have used my actions for a while know that my actions automatically duplicate my background layer. The reason that I choose to do this, as I mentioned in another video, is I like to be able to quickly click out of um, an image if I don't like the effect. It just takes a second. But, um, for the sake of just giving an idea of how to turn that function off, if you're using Photoshop versions that allow that, um, I believe elements may not, but it's a very simple, simple fix. So you'll notice on the side of this Basque action right here, I have a red check mark. By default, this check mark was white, but I, I clicked it, and now you'll notice it's white. Um, this is how it was by default when I click it. It says OK. Now when you run this action, it will no longer duplicate your image. So, for example, I'm going to run Blushed, which I, I let that action stay intact. We're going to just run through this, and you'll notice over here now this is duplicated. Now, if I were to expand this where it says Duplicate First Document and click that check mark, now it looks like Basque had. Um, it will no longer do this for me. So I'm going to rerun this just to show you. Run blushed and see now it's all in the same image. You'll also notice that when you run the action these little boxes pop up and sometimes they're a little annoying when you've run the action so many times and you just don't need the instructions anymore. You can very easily get rid of that too. All that is is when you expand your action you'll notice a little word right here that says stop. What you want to do is you navigate down when you see that word stop and you click the check mark next to that as well and now when you run the action that little dialog box will never pop up again. Now um, one important thing to keep in mind is you don't want to hit the check marks next to any other part of the action because that will affect that one part and sometimes the action needs that one part to run and, and work properly. So also I can't emphasize enough please back up your actions that way if your computer crashes or something happens or if you, the action gets messed up and you need to reinstall it you can quickly access that. Okay so as far as the actual actions go I'm gonna just run a heavier action. This one's called Dimmer. It's one of my favorite black and whites but it is very heavy. So running it off the bat, some people love this, it's not for everybody. If you do like the feel of this black and white but you want it to be a little less heavy, um, if you open this group up right here and then you go to this punch up layer and you were to reduce the opacity more, you're going to have a little bit less of all that crazy contrast. Um, the darken layer as well. Now we have more of a true black and white opposed to when we first started. So my other tip would be to make sure that you tweak the layers and open up the group folder and experiment to find what works for you. Um, many times the action will not look exactly like the preview and that is because the action was created on one particular image. Um, so bear that in mind. But the, the wonderful thing is you really get the opportunity to make this action yours and this process yours and to potentially make your image look different than other photographers. You really want to stand out. So we're going to click out of this. Um, we didn't run Crafted. Crafted is another black and white action. It's a little more another one, sort of a true black and white, but it works very well for many different kinds of photos. As do all these actions. These actions are very, very versatile. 
and my testers are actually all very different kinds of photographers and some of them prefer to use the actions at like 20% and that's fine some people love to do it at 100% that's your decision so there's no wrong way you can completely customize these any way you want to I'm gonna run Dahlia it's a pretty warmer action Ducky is another warmer action it has more red tones to it when we open these layers up. I also want to tell you that anything that says color, more color, um, toner, those usually tend to have a bit more of pop in the tone. So if something starts to get a little funky or your white balance gets overly warm, usually those are the layers you want to either eliminate or turn down. We have infinity, which is a creamier edit, and I love that one very much. Mary's a warmer edit with more of a yellow sunny tone to it, also great for backlit images. Mila's a very pretty action. And if we were to actually turn off this mid-tones layer, we would have a nice contrast too. Um, layers with light as well. If we were to get rid of that, now we have a new feel to our, our action. So that's a wonderful way to kind of get more versatility out of the actions. Mittens is a good one kind of a whimsical edit and here obviously I've made my exposure a little too bright so all I'm going to do is hit mid-tones and already I'm coming down nice and sometimes too if you just reduce the opacity of the whole action we get enough of that toning to where it's very pretty you can even add your own adjustment layer like if I wanted to change things quickly I could go into my selective color adjustment and let's just choose the neutrals drop down because it's already there and just by pulling the blacks up, see I already have sort of a different feel. Very beautiful. And now we're going to run Promenade. This one has a cooler undertone with a bit of a warmer highlight. Pennies. And I chose the word pennies because pennies are lucky. So sometimes I come up with really strange names. This one doesn't work as well for this particular image. Um, but again, you could easily change it if you wanted to experiment with it. Different layers have different feels. It, it's not a very color popped. It's supposed to be more subtle for sure. Quirky. Very pretty, cooler action. I think quirky actually works very nice on portraits especially. Shanty. Tangerine. Tangerine's one of my favorites too. Throwback, which is a very rich warm action. Woodstock, which works really great with skin tones. There's actually a layer inside called Clean Skin. And if you up the opacity of that, you get even more contrast. And again, if it's too bright, turning down particular layers, contrast. Um, layers sometimes will do it. You'll notice here. Tone tweak sometimes. I mean, just experiment. And don't be afraid to change the whole opacity of the entire action, as I mentioned. And then we have Zeal last but not least. This one has a little bit of a film feel to it. Now I'm going to show you how to run the helper actions in conjun conjunction with the creative action. So, lighten up is a great action if you're starting with a, an underexposed image or you just kind of want a clean pop or you know you, you want to kind of freshen things up before you run the action or after you can do that. Um, backlight bright, light and pop. Tinted light, film light, hazy light, brighten up, and light and contrast. Now you notice these are all a little heavy, and this photo really doesn't need to be brightened, so it's it's obviously doing things to my exposure I don't want it to do. But you can also adjust the opacity to make it more suitable for your image. Okay, now I'm going to show you the fill light action. When you run the fill light action, you'll notice that everything's tucked into this little group layer with a mask on it. You need to open this up to access it. Now if you click on any one of these masks you're going to want a white brush and then 
as we're brushing this, you'll notice that we get a little more pronounced shadows and, and a little bit more of a mid-tone. And it kind of just fills in. You can actually use the paint on haze to add a little bit more haze back. And then the mid-tones are a way to just kind of fill in the mid-tones. Now, this action is really wonderful, um, but it will vary depending on your light. So that's something to think of. And I like this, so we're going to keep it. Fresh Picked is a toner create, creative action, but it's very, very short, and you can use just one layer or all of them. So blueberries, cherries, melon, and blueberry too, which is a lot cooler. And that just kind of adds a little bit of a toner if you want that. You can use them all together or alone. Indian Summer is a warm uh, helper action. And just by clicking this, you notice these layers are giving our image a different feel. I actually think the red and the yellow work fairly well, but they're a little too strong, so I'm going to turn the opacity way down. And we'll leave that because I like that it plays up the flare. Milky. It's, it's a set of kind of haze or matte options. We're going to expand this. Strawberry Milk. Milk 3, which is more of a filmy. Milk 2. Milk 1. Now these seem strange when you first click them because I leave them at full strength, but if you were to turn that down it could just give it your own sort of flavor. Totally up to you. I don't really need it for this particular image, but I wanted to show you. One Click is another collection of one click presets that kind of um, give your image a quick different feel and change the toner. So I'm going to click this. Now we have more of a cyan. Candy, which is more blue. Clean. Depth, which kind of, you'll notice, gives a little more pop to your mid-tones. You can even reduce the opacity to turn that down. Sky Pop is a great one for images that have a lot of sky. I would use this sparingly. Um, just make sure that when you do use it, you're masking it off of anywhere on your skin or on your subjects. So let's say we do Golden Sky or Fairy Sky or any of them. You'll notice that it's not changing the actual sky. The reason that nothing is happening is because these only work when you already have a sky present or some color there. So you want to keep that in mind. Warmth is another action that kind of adds a bit of warmth. Kind of straightforward. Pink, cream, and this one you also want to tweak. We'll pull that down a little bit. And then our very last action is called Veiled. And we're just going to run that very quickly. And when we open that up, now we have a very matte feel. You can just leave it as it is and reduce the opacity and that kind of doles down your highlights and gives you sort of a filmy matte feel. Or you can leave it full strength and just reduce the opacity of the actual veil. And that's about it. And now I hope that this helped and you, you kind of get a feel for the actions and I'll have more coming soon. Thank you very much. Bye.